What's up preppers? Welcome back to another video. This is a solar weather update. Not done one of these for a while, but a new sunspot is coming around. You may remember it from before, 664, that shot out that X20 as it went around the other side of the sun. Well, that one is now back and it is here on the bottom left of this image here and it is sunspot 3697. Now, the other area of interest at the moment is in the top middle there, and that is 3691. That's a cluster of lots of little sunspots, quite active, lots of M-class flares, nothing really major hitting. This 36971, though, seems to be the more volatile, the one we're watching. As it was coming round the crest um, of the sun, it released an X2.9, which we've got footage of here. And you can see the flare coming out there. And with the filter, it's even more prominent. So quite a big flare. As it then came round again, it released another X-Class, an X1.4. Now that's not a high X-Class, but the difference with this one is it was sustained over an hour long period okay so this hit the x.14 usually it peaks and then comes down but it peaked and it just carried on emitting for that huge amount of time so we do have a geomagnetic storm watch um which is possible from tonight um but it could be over the next couple of nights i'm recording this on the 31st but it will probably go live tomorrow, this video. Um, and if you are watching it on the 1st, it's my birthday. Yay! But that's why I'm pre-recording this. So we are watching this one very closely. It's very active. Um, on average, we've got a 35% chance of X-class flares, which is high when you average them all out. The ASAP reading is saying 60%. As this grows, as it gets increasingly more volatile, we will go live and we will monitor it on a live feed and keep a close eye on that. We know it's got the potential power to release Carrington size flares. The spot itself is not quite at that size yet, but it is growing as it comes around. For the next week or so, we'll be monitoring this uh, because it is going to be earth facing. Um, so we'll be watching this one very closely and I'll keep you updated. Uh, watch out, make sure you've got the subscription ticked, make sure you've got the bell notification on so you know exactly when we go live. If I go live, it's usually for solar monitoring unless it's Sunday where it's our regular Sunday night slot. Don't forget to check out all the other videos. The Prepper podcast is going great. We've got some amazing guests on there now and coming up soon. And the new Prepper Fireside Talk live every Sunday. We encourage you to come along to watch that there. And you can join in the chat and ask us questions. Me and several other Preppers on YouTube will always be on that on a Sunday. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Just a quick update. Happy birthday to me. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.